Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about structure of ovum. Basically, ovum is a egg, female egg. That is, that can be a lacetal and lacetal egg. A lacetal egg are those eggs which has a low amount of yolk, and whereas lacetal egg that contain a high amount of yolk. But in humans. there is a lacetal type of eggs now we will discuss about structure of atom first of all we have nucleus in the diagram nucleus is the genetic part that contain genetic material in it now we have the second portion which is our cytoplasm cytoplasm contain all type of organelles in it okay such as mitochondria ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum all the things are present in a cytoplasm then this tiny balls which is are cortical granules cortical granules are those which are present on the vitelline membrane near it which work as densing the cytoplasm so that sperm uh, when the sperm new, uh, enters it get properly fused with the ovum it form a fertilization cones the cortical granules form a fertilization cone near the entry of sperm it is present on periphery side inside the cytoplasm basically it all gathers near this periphery now the fourth is a vitelline membrane which is the first covering and semi solid membrane means which enable only specific things to enter in the cytoplasm of the ovum um it provides lactic permeability and it is species specific binding of sperm only the specific species sperm can bind to this membrane now next is our fifth part that is corona radiata corona radiata it is a layer of egg that is form of follicle cells Evo layer which is form of follicle cells. The follicle cells are joined together there by hyaluronic enzyme. These are joined together by hyaluronic enzyme. Then next part is zona pellucida, which is the it allow one sperm to fuse with ovum. Basically, it prevent polyspermy. It contain fertilizing protein which attract sperm to get fertilized. Basically, zona pellucida. have a cert, have a certain proteins which attracts sperm to fuse with it it is thick as you can see it is thick and fibrous and contain certain proteins and a next thing is pre vitelline space as you can see the space between vitelline membrane and zona pellucida is a this one space is a pre vitelline space the space between vitelline membrane and zona pellucida is called pre vitelline space so basically we have studied there is main first is nucleus cytoplasm cortical granules vitelline membrane corona radiata zona pellucida and pre vitelline space basically structure of ovum contain seven parts in it so i hope you all will understand it very easily thank you and please keep spotting science star for more such videos